When I graduated from graduate school, it was in 2004, and I was unemployed for many, many months, right? And I went on interviews, and I wouldn't get them, and I was, you know, thinking about all over the place as far as um, where to get a job if I was going to go out to San Francisco or if I was going to stay on the East Coast. And I was really deflated in the standpoint of, I had worked in nonprofits and politics and I had gone for this graduate degree and I thought, well, what, why is this not happening, right? You know, why am I in this position? And that failure luckily led me to what I decided to do at that point, which I, I joined uh, the presidential campaign in 2004. And I just went out and you know worked for a few months on that. And doing that really solidified to me that I wanted to come to DC. I would say what inspires me at the end of the day is really being able to see uh, within the college women uh, and the networks that we work with that they're able to really step up in new ways uh, in leadership roles in their life and that I'm able to not just see that on an individual basis but I'm able to see that you know with hundreds and thousands of women across the country and that really inspires me to want to do more, right? Want to reach more, uh, want to really ensure that uh, we're not just making uh, a difference one year over another, but that we're really making an investment in uh, the generations to come so that we really don't have this leadership gap moving forward. So it is about uh, getting those uh, really special individual instances but the fact that they're you know, all over the country with all different circumstances really can really demonstrate that impact. You know, AUW's been around you know, for over 130 years for a reason because we, we really are in for the long haul in making a difference. And so my, my hope and dream for AUW is certainly that we become unnecessary, right? <laughs> that we've solved, you know, the problems of inequity for women and girls, and that we truly live in a society that uh, recognizes the rights for, of, you know, both sexes, for, and really maximizes, you know, the potential of both women and men to really impart great leadership on the world. I think. Our world has, you know, existed for a very long time uh, through a patriarchal uh, society, and we really haven't seen what can happen when more women are at the table. So uh, we often, you know, in the nonprofit world, you know, you want to be able to go out to go to business, and I have no doubt that our members would love that if we could state the claim that we had a reason to go out of business and that we truly sort of looked around in our world and saw uh, women and men uh, at the same table.